Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Gaming Rewind. So I wanted to make a quick video quickly amending the SCART versus S-Video versus Composite video that I posted the other day because there is some incomplete information in there and some shit has come to light uh, from some viewers of mine who are much more educated in the, you know, I guess video technology. Um, so first off, I want to thank them for bringing that to my attention. And I also want to say if any other videos of mine are sort of, you know, put out wrong information or incomplete information, please call me out. Um, and I hope this is proof that I'll, you know, try to make the corrections, um, whether it's text over the video, something in the description, or in this case where I just pretty much reshoot the whole video. Um, so, again, thanks guys for um, bringing that to my attention, because I want good quality information to come from my channel. So, again, I appreciate it. So let's kind of start over. Now, the reason I made this video in the first place is I wanted to share a cost-effective solution that I found to just getting amazing picture quality out of our old consoles and onto our HD TVs because a lot of us don't have CRT TVs anymore. So what does this thing do here that's in my hand? So this is a video converter that I got for about um, somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks on eBay. And what this does is this turns a um, SCART signal into an HDMI signal. Okay, now what is SCART? SCART is a video cable standard that was used in Europe, um, I guess in the 80s and 90s. I'm not really sure when it was introduced, but um, we never had it here. Now what's important to know about SCART is that um, like I said, it carries different video signals, composite, S-Video, and RGB, and they all have different pin configurations. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're shopping for uh, SCART cables. Just making sh make sure you're getting the right one, because you don't want to get a JP21, because that's the Japanese version of SCART. That has a totally different pin configuration. And you want to just make, make sure you're getting an RGB, because that's the purpose of this video is to share what RGB video signal looks like um, out of these video game consoles. So without further ado, we're just going to go right ahead and we're going to check out some direct RGB footage versus composite and versus some S-Video as well um, to see how this converter works and just to see how the RGB picture looks overall so you guys can see and hear for yourself if you prefer um, the direct RGB image. All right, so I thought I'd start us off here with a game that I just recently reviewed, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Great game. I definitely recommend checking out the review if you haven't already. All right, so we're obviously starting off with the composite image here. Nothing wrong with it. But now you see here when you switch over to SCART, there's a big difference. You know, the blacks are definitely black. All the colors are much more represented uh, better. And then you switch back over to composite. You can see there's just this washed out quality to everything. And we switch back. And there you go. Everything is full and full of color again. It's really a big difference. All right, and as we move on to some Genesis footage here, here we see we have uh, Rocket Knight Adventures, an awesome game. But look at that difference there, just on the title screen. Um, and then over here, yeah, you'll just see the, the washed out image versus the SCART here. It's just more, much more colorful. It looks like a, I don't know, kind of like a live cartoon. And switching back over to composite, you see the image gets blurry. And now we're moving on here to Last Battle. Um, not the most amazing game, but it has a special place in my heart. But you'll see here, the text just looks way sharper. Um, a lot more contrast between the white and black. And then we're going to see some game footage here. Now the one unique thing about capturing Genesis footage is there's no difference in the audio, which I'll mention later, but the Genesis has a direct audio out for headphones, so I was able to capture the same audio um, no matter if I was catching on uh, SCART or Composite. Now here we move on to Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Now pay close attention to the red text as it pops up. The 1984 that just happened, here's Nintendo, and now we're going to switch over to SCART here in a second. You're going to see a big difference. Look at that. Everything is just clean. There's not that sort of blurry, patchy effect that you get with the composite image. This is a big improvement. It looks like it's running off of emulator. It doesn't look like it's running off of hardware. Now, obviously, Super Metroid is going to look good no matter what you hook it up with. But, uh, you know, you'll see here, this is the composite image. And there will be a, an improvement here when you switch over to SCART. See there? Colors are just brighter, darker when they need to be. There's much more contrast to the image overall. Now this improved image quality through SCART does come with a trade-off and that's with the sound. Universally across the board, the stereo sound through the typical RCA cables with the composite sounded better than the stereo sound through SCART. It just had more punch and volume. Um, it just sounded fuller. I don't know why that is, but that's just what I noticed when I was making these videos. So here coming up, we'll just do a quick back and forth between the two audio sources. I didn't do any kind of tweaking so you can hear the difference. All 
All right, so obviously a very big difference here. Um, so now what we are about to do, we are actually about to switch over to S-Video versus SCART. So what I did here is I hooked up my Sega Saturn in both SCART and S-Video because I wanted to compare the two. And to be quite honest with you, the difference is not as big as between composite and SCART. Um, you know, S-Video really kind of holds its own. Um, it does pretty good color uh, reproduction and the picture quality is pretty good. You know, there is a little bit of uh, you know extra sharpness with the SCART videos you can probably notice um, however I actually kind of it's almost like the the S video is like running on an emulator through a filter um, so in some ways it's actually kind of I, I actually found it to be a little bit preferable but then you know when you look at some of the finer details you know you can't beat the SCART So now as we move into Saturn's probably the biggest weakest point of the Saturn was 3D. Um, as you can see that, you know, the textures were very pixelated back then. Um, you know, 3D movement just wasn't that great back then. So, you know, it's really kind of difficult for the naked eye, at least for me, to see the difference between S-Video and SCART. You know, the difference really, it almost completely kind of disappears when you get into this, um, you know, these type of games on the Sega Saturn. I don't know if it's just because of the nature of the textures and the graphics or whatever, but... Um, you know, for me, kind of switching back and forth, it's kind of easy to tell just because of the way I edited the two together. But, uh, you know, to the naked eye, somebody who wasn't watching a video like this, I don't think they would be able to tell the difference between the two. So if the question is, do I get a SCART cable for this Saturn? Um, it's a tough one. If you already have an S-Video cable, I would just say no, don't bother. But if you don't have an S-Video cable and you're just looking to upgrade from composite, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, you know, the difference between the two is... It's pretty minimal, but if you're already rocking S video, like you're, I think you're pretty straight with that. Like you don't need to waste the money. That's money that could be spent on another game or some beer or something like that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I definitely recommend obviously SCART for pretty much every other system that you can get it for. However, um, the Saturn, I don't know. It seems to be pretty good with S video. So now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let Quake do the talking. All right, so as you can see there, the picture quality difference between composite and RGB was huge. And then the picture quality difference between RGB and S-Video was not nearly as big. The main difference that I noticed was the audio, obviously, when I was capturing the footage. Now, what I can't speak to is the fidelity of the audio. Um, I don't know if I was losing fidelity, um, you know, using the RCA versus SCART, or if it was just that the levels were lower. I don't, I don't really know. I can't answer that question. If somebody out there a little bit more technically knowledgeable can answer that please do you know that'd be great um, now there might be some custom cables that you can get out there that have um, you know the vi the video signal passing through SCART and then the audio going through RCA that might be a thing but um, what I did end up doing is testing you know so the video converter can output audio through the HDMI directly into the HDTV or whatever um, or you, there's a headphone jack and uh, I tested both and actually the headphone jack I expected to be louder, however it was even quieter than just passing directly through um, SCART into HDMI. So I just kept it SCART through HDMI and um, those are the levels that we got. So again, I'm not sure if you're losing fidelity or if the levels are just lower. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, and that just might be a function of this $40 to $50 video converter. Like, like I said, there's much more expensive video converters out there. I just don't have three or $400 to drop on a FrameMeister. Um, if you have money to burn, go right ahead. You know, you're probably gonna get a superior video signal. Um, but this, you know, I just wanted to find a cost-effective solution and I think this, this guy does gets the job done. Now, what I have done is I have linked an article below um, that goes way more into depth with a whole bunch of other video converters and has, you know, way more kind of technical uh, details in there. So you can sort of determine for yourself. This one that I got actually kind of ranked I think lowest on the list. Um, so I think you can find some other alternatives that are in the same price range that might actually get you a better picture quality. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that article. Hope you guys enjoy uh, the video and um, I'll talk to you guys soon.